Famcast Media. Bitch. Lucky 13 Podcast. Uh, if you're at Loki 13 Saloon, in the back of Loki 13 Saloon, hang in at Loki 13 Saloon. In front I of the stage at Loki 13 Saloon. What's going on, guys? Chilling. D behind the computer. You. We got Jamal to my right. How you doing? And I'm Jeff. It's I nice, to, see, nice like to hear you. Nice to see you guys. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's man. been a while, man. You know, the good thing about doing this every once in a while is we have a lot to talk about. Oh, you, you got a fucking plethora of shit that happened here, dude. Yeah, it's been a lot going on, dude. It's you been know? good. Flipping burgers, having Satan's right hand man in the fucking joint. You yeah, know? man, that was oh, intimidating. Yeah. It was intimidating. It was fun. It's been a good couple of fucking weeks. Yeah, it's been a really good couple of weeks. A lot going on. Um, I have a Korean television show that's been hitting me up. Can't wait for that. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, tomorrow I actually got to meet these. It's like a Korean television like show. A reality. Yeah, show it's like a re- reality show. I got to meet Wait, wait, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, I've been out of, I've been out of the loop with the whole back thing and fucking you know paranoia and shit. You can't hear yourself, Jamal. I no. can't hear anything. Nothing. Oh, well, there you go. Awesome. Oh, I'm sorry. I, put, I had you on the wrong one. I'm sorry about that. Oh, man. Awesome. Hey, I haven't been doing this in a while. I know. So we got. So there was a there was a um a Korean television show that uh, it's a reality show. They want to do some filming over here. I got a meeting with them tomorrow. Oh, night. I thought they want to do like a fucking a Lucky Thirteen Saloon reality show. No, 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 no. So, but there's a there's a there's a reality show. It's a it's a Korean reality show, and they're coming to New York for a visit, and the guy wants to go to a metal bar. Um, this is the only metal the bar, baby. This That's is the it. only metal bar. That's yeah. it. So they want to come here. So I got a, I got a meeting with them here tomorrow night, and then uh, another one they want to come out on Friday to go check out the bands that are playing and all that kind cool. of stuff. I'll make so. sure I'm present for every single one of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who, do, who do you got here Friday for them? Who do you got here? Uh, it's like it's it's some local guys. There's a band, Das Moose. Um, these guys. Oh, the, yeah, the band Das Moose are great. They're older guys. I was telling you about the guy, um, uh, Adam, who. Uh, is in the band who has an amazing fucking resume. We'll get him on the podcast at some point. He's a really cool guy to talk to, and I feel like I can talk to him for fucking hours because he's such an interesting guy who did. Uh, but his band, it's funny because he's he's it's all older guys. They're pro- they're older than me, probably in the late fifties. Um, mm-hmm. These guys, and um, he said they're like dad rock bands. Um, they're all dads in the band, and they just kind of do it for fun. So I hate when people say dad. It's like you know what? They're not dad. Are, are, are rock. you are you killing it up there? It's not dad. Rock. No, it's not dad rock. They're, they're, they're dads playing in a band. Like the Eagles is dad rock to me, man. The Eagles is dad rock. They're not dad rock. You know, I heard the Eagles fucking lip sync. Oh, yeah. Please. Half of these fucking bands lip sync. Fucking motherfuckers, Vince man. Neil should start lip syncing. Oh, because every live fucking <laughs> he should clip. Li- he should lip eat. <laughs> yeah, every live clip I see of Vince Neil, he sounds fucking horrible. Horrible. Dude, the only one that's live on that stage is John Five. Yeah, well, yeah, I guess. You know? I don't know. I honestly like I've, I have hatred for Motley Crue now. I can't stand them. Like fuck them. I, like like to to you know. I mean the venues they're playing are getting smaller and smaller. So you know they just really? played, they just played Irving Plaza. What? Uh, yeah. Not, Motley Crue at Irving Plaza. Motley it's Crue. unheard of. Yeah. The next thing you know, they're gonna be playing back here. I hope. So. <laughs> 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 We've had a lot of good bands in the last few weeks, though. We have some really good uh, bands. In shout the out to Burn weeks. the Skies. They were fucking great. Were they good? I missed that. Yeah, they were really good. Really fucking good. Eternal Suffering. When we had what was that Wednesday? That was great. Yeah. It been and the interesting thing about like these metal bands, as you're saying, these guys are getting older and older. Like these new bands are kind of getting younger and younger. Well, I mean, that's what happens. It's kind of like the, the the saying from uh, what was that that movie with Matthew McConaughey? That's why I date high school girls because you know oh, I'm geez. getting older and they still the same age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I well, think know that for the no, but come on, man. Like, 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 even like, like when we were fucking doing the band shit, dude. It's, it's, we were all underage trying to get into these fu- same same thing, bro. You were yeah, underage trying thing. to get into the to the club. And I listen, I love seeing these younger bands coming up, man. It's it's awesome. Yeah, I always them. meet somebody from like out of the country or whatever, and they said like, Oh, you know, I thought like the scene was kinda like dying. I said, Fuck no, man. 
You know, the scene goes in waves. You know what's awesome about this? Like, it's so funny when you get some normal people in here sometimes. There was a dude in here the other night, and he's like, uh, he's like, yo, man, this is cool. You know, how'd you come up with this concept? Is, you know, is this, uh, you know, it's kind, it's kind of, you know, it's like a throwback, bro. And I'm just like. Throwback to what? I, I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just thinking he has no clue. This is a lifestyle, dude. This isn't like, this yeah. isn't. I, don't I, put, I, put this on in the morning. Yeah, no. Walk out the door. I had fucking, one, a girl said to, I had my, it was funny, I had my, my vest on for like club. A girl, oh, I wanted to punch her in the mouth. Yeah. Say it. Say it. She's like, uh, Val said it to me. I want to punch her. She's like, oh, I see you got your costume on today. <laughs> Are you fucking? Fool? I wanted to punch her in the mouth. Oh man, that was wow. vicious. Oh, vicious sometimes. Fucking costume. You got your costume on. Yeah. Hey, for some people it is, man. For some people it is a costume. That girl who applied for a bartending job here—that was a costume. It was a costume. Yeah, Ooh, she ran what? to that. There's a girl who came and we, you know, we're, we're hiring bartenders right now. Um, and we had we've had some, um. People come in here who don't really, uh, you know, who it is a costume if they're going to dress posers, like that. Posers. You know? Yeah, some posers, basically. Okay. And um, we've. Had now, I'm such a male dickhead. Are they hot, though? If they were hot, then I wouldn't. I was going to yeah. say, like, if you're hot, pose away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> even yeah. so, man, it's not even, it's not even so much like. Uh, that's a turn off to me, though. Like, honestly, <laughs> yeah. like, I've, I've met some girls like that who are super hot, who like, yeah. who are fucking posers. And uh, it's, I dated one for a minute because. She was hot, and she would fucking <laughs> rock those. She would rock some Metal Gear once in a while, and like it just it wasn't gonna work out. I want to you know? I want to put it how Cat Williams put it: a Chrysler 300 looked like a Phantom till a Phantom put up. That's what Cat Williams <laughs> said. It's like you know you could walk around and act like you're about it till somebody asks you about your fucking favorite band. I like those Chryslers though. <laughs> and, you know exactly. What, have you seen a fucking Phantom? Yeah. Well, it's a, what it's the Bentley, right? Is that what it looks no, like? It's a Rolls Royce. Oh yeah. Well, I like See? those Chryslers because I'm the fucking yeah. No, but it's the same thing. I, I fucking I, I teach the barbacks like listen, don't you know you, you got to have a certain attitude about yourself when you're here, but don't walk around like a tough guy because a tough guy is gonna step to you. Yeah. Yeah. And then what are you gonna do? Yeah. You, you get know? punched in the fucking mouth. Go to the bathroom. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody got a plan. Did they get, get punched, punched in the, in the fucking face. mouth? Yeah. Long live Mike Tyson. And hey, what happened? I had Mike Tyson just had a fucking health scare. What's going on with that? What are you talking about? Now? I just had yeah, just like yesterday he just they had to pull him off a plane or something like that because he had a health scare. Oh, yeah, because he's scared of my boy Jake Paul. That's what's Fuck up. Out of I don't here. think he's scared of fucking Team Jake Paul. I don't think he's afraid of him at all. Oh, he well, said I don't he, think so he said fucking Tyson said fucking in uh, one of his interviews when they were having a little back and forth thing. He said, like, Yeah, I just saw a picture of you when you were a teenager. It's basically, you're going to fuck him? Like, dude, Tyson, you're crazy now, bro. Oh, Listen, Christ, I, they I did a, a, a standoff. I don't know. Tyson had that look in his eyes. I have to go Jake Paul because nobody else is going for fuck Jake Paul, dude. Everybody's I, going for Jake Paul. Nah, man, you crazy. Man. Tyson's going to rip his face off, dude. But I, I mean, know. you didn't hear that from me, bro. We'll see. We'll see. Well, you I say mean, he listen, got pulled off a plane. Or what do we I don't know. They, they had a health scare. But, you know, he, they, they're filling him with so much shit, I'm yeah, there's sure. there's that, too. I'm sure, that like too. he's got tons of chemicals inside him. I uh, thought he was just ayahuasca, and then I was it. Some no, weed. you see, they they brought him, they brought him back to the dark places. That's what it is. Because before, when he didn't, he used to not even like to watch fighting anymore. Mm -hmm. But with that Roy Jones thing, and then like all this stuff, he's he's going back in there to a place that he didn't really want to go back to. Exactly, he's going. He is going back to his dark. You know what it all started from when that dude fucking fucked with him on the plane, bro. That was after the Roy Jordan fight. That was after? Yeah. Was it after? Yeah, it was after. But it's but you know, but it was what? What like two years ago that plane shit happened? Yeah, but he was even trying to be cool. I heard he gave the guy mushrooms. He was like, yo, chill out. And the guy oh, yeah. kept talking shit. So he, he he just went Mike Tyson. And not even, he just smacked him around a little bit because old Mike Tyson Probably would have got off the plane in handcuffs. Bro, but yeah, a, yeah, yeah, a yeah. smack from him is probably like getting beat up by the biggest dude on the block over yeah, here. Yeah, but I mean, but listen, you know, he does have enough restraint, I think, to know that he could rip somebody's fucking head off at one punch. You of know, course. Right? So, well, his hands yeah. are fucking. What do they call that when you when you're a boxer, bro? His hands are fucking. Uh, well, he's I got mean, like two shotguns. Not documented yeah. or whatever. They, you yeah, know. lethal weapon. Yeah. yeah, he's got shotguns on it for fucking hands, basically. Yeah, he might not be as young as he was, but he has way more experience and ferocity than anybody. And there's this thing as old man rage, you know what I mean? I got it. I'm starting to get it. <laughs> going to beat up douche one of these days. Yeah, oh my God, I'm going to totally smack him in the mouth one of these days. God, he loves to set me off. Dude, you got to have a fucking, uh, what are they, they called? What was that fucking, um, God damn it, that movie with Brad Pitt. You got you, Fight Club? You got to have a fight club back here one day, you know? Oh, Bars I'm, closed, yeah. you just have a fight club. All for it. Yeah. All for it. yeah. <laughs> me and Frankie are going to get in the ring.
Dude, imagine Frankie <laughs> fucking just suplex you and comes out with this fucking gorilla you know? strength, no, bro. No, no, I can't Shit. even see it. Yeah, he might. He might. Got a little switch he fucking lets up. I'd like to see him go to town on douche. Sometimes he deserves it. You know what I mean? <laughs> He'd be like one of those little things that you wind up in the back and you hold it on. It's like, get him, Frankie. And you wind it up, wind it up. That's your secret weapon, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like Street Fighter. We could just record it. Yeah. Let him loose. Let Frankie him loose. uses a special weapon. He just bikes douche dick off. Yeah. Dude, have him in the bunny suit fight, and that's it. If Frankie comes in with the bunny suit, it's like turning the switch, and uh, fucking, what was that, uh, that movie with fucking Stallone? Fucking uh, over the top. Over the, t- over the top, I Dad. I turn that's that switch, you know, and it's, oh, it's on. He like, turns his baseball. It's so fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> corny, man. You know, I watched a movie last night called The Coffee Table. What the fuck is that? That sounds corny. <sighs> it wasn't corny. It was weird. Uh, it was it was slow moving. I can tell you the whole story. If you don't want to. Was it on Netflix or? No, it was on Amazon. I had to rent it for three bucks. You know what I mean? Okay. It was, uh, um, yeah, it, it was uh, whatever. The, I don't even know why I'm talking about it. But this fucking movie. I, I heard it was good. It's really slow. Like the first 10 minutes are all right. Yeah. You know, and then it's uh, the, the premise of the movie. This guy buys a coffee table. His wife's yelling at him not to buy this corny looking coffee table. And the salesman is like, yo, the glass is unbreakable on this freaking thing. Oh, shit. Don't worry about it. You Here know what I mean? Go. If you don't want to hear the story, turn the channel. Because, but it's, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm telling you, the, the, the whole movie, it just drags the beginning. So the woman goes out. So he buys this coffee table with the glass top. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's really corny looking. But the wife goes out for groceries and the baby starts crying. And then the, the, the husband goes and he picks up the baby and he walks in the other room. Then you hear the table fucking break. And you don't see this. But then they flash to the room and he's got a fucking baby on the floor with no head. So you don't actually oh. see what happens. Yeah. So there's a oh. yeah, yeah. So then the, this is like the first ten minutes of the movie. And then you're like, whoa, this where's this gonna go? <laughs> this? I know, you know it's going mean? somewhere and it's not home. It did. And 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 and, and you know, so now you got a headless fucking baby and then the rest of the movie is just how he's got he has his brother over for dinner yeah. and the whole time the wife thinks the baby's asleep. You know what I mean? Stop meanwhile, it. meanwhile, the baby's headless in the fucking crib, and the husband just doesn't know how to tell the wife, so he's sitting there like sweating, and the brother the whole time is going, "Bro, what's wrong with you, man?" And uh, and he's, I killed the fucking baby. Yeah, well, oh finally God. they go into the other room, and the the, the brother wants to see the baby because he hasn't seen the new baby Stop. yet, and he's like, "Bro, I gotta tell you, I killed my fucking baby." And then the brother starts freaking out, like, "What the fuck?" He's like, "We gotta get your wife out of here." Because she, nobody she, calls the ambulance she can't see this baby. I mean, listen, and I, it's, I don't know. It was kind of cool, but it was also very dragged the fuck out. It was very like, dragged out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and like, and then finally the ending happens in the, in the, in the, I will, okay, I won't tell you the ending. But in the first 10 minutes, you know, this happens. The, the baby is dead. Yeah. <laughs> I, was gonna, then, I was hoping you were going to say he was tripping on acid or something. No, it was real. no, no, no. And you don't actually see how he drops the baby and the baby gets the head cut off. The but, director probably but, did not want to shoot a scene like that. I mean, maybe they did and oh. they might not. They might have shown it. The director's cut. It, you know what I mean? So. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it was, uh, I don't know. It was interesting. That's but, something that's it's, it's better that you you. Paid three dollars and saw that at home and didn't go to the. You know movie I'm. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna stick to my Winnie the Pooh and Bambi and and, and stuff like that, bro. I don't know. I saw the trailer for the other day. You had mentioned this a couple of months back. A uh, bike rider. Oh, the bike riders. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, how, we'll much, how much trouble are they going to get in for making that fucking? They movie? won't make it. I'm, I'm sure it's like a, I'm sure they worked with clubs. That's what these guys do. You know, a I mean? lot of that stuff seems based directly on. I'm people. sure it is. I'm sure it's based. I think. I, th- I think this is supposed to be based off of uh, Sonny Barger's life or something like that. Yeah. Hey, if you start seeing I don't directors fucking get knocked off, you know what happened. Nah, come on. Like these guys love this shit. They get. You know, they get. They get. They get listen on Sons of Anarchy. Like uh, a lot of Hell's Angels worked on Sons. Bro, of Ameri- Anarchy. what was that show? The, the American Me movie. They were knocking the fake. Yeah, Kill yeah. the director. Yeah. Yeah. A you lot know? of people. What, six people got killed. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean that fuck that show Narcos. Uh, uh, one of the a uh, uh, scout. Um, Oh, oh yeah, the, the scout yeah. got fucking got knocked off on narco. Fuck on yeah, narco. I think that was like at, like season four, scouting for season four or some shit. Yo, you gotta watch the movie. Uh, I mean, the series, The Offer. It's on Paramount Plus. If you got Paramount the Plus, Offer? it's called The Offer. It's all about the making of the Godfather, and that'll kind of tell you some behind the. You don't think shit. that was overrated? The God, no way. Yes. No yes. way. Gobble I'm putting fucking, I'm putting. That's I'm the Sopranos. Putting, there was no gobble the, in the look, fucking Godfather. I'm putting Goodfellas over all of these fucking movies. 
Dude, Godfather's classic. And if you said I watched that, it. I, well, yeah, I watched it. Right, I think you know what I think was overrated. It's overrated. I think Scarface was overrated. Yes, hundred percent. So overrated. Hundred percent, dude. Come on, say like he, he dude didn't speak a lick of Spanish. He just put on the accent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. That movie is fucking. I mean, I mean, it's okay, but I mean, after the second watch, bro, no, I'm good. overrated. Yeah. Good. Watch it for a third time. It's good, garbage. fellas. Good fellas. All the way. Great movie. Watched I fucking that like love fifty good times already in my lifetime. I own the fucking the uh, the ultimate edition. It's a great movie. Good fellas. Casino. They don't make them like that anymore. Not like Casino. Casino was great, but the offer, the offer tells all about, it's it's the making of The Godfather. Okay. And it tells you how the mob was actually involved. Oh, they in were? The making, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, at first they weren't, but they got involved when they heard that they were making this <laughs> fucking movie. That's why, you know, in that they never, um, they never called it the mafia. Okay. Uh, what did they call it in the, in the, uh, yeah, the family? Just... They call it the family because they weren't allowed to say the word mafia in that movie. Because the mafia told them they weren't allowed to say. Oh, mafia I was about to say maybe maybe, maybe back then they had rules or whatever. Like you can't say oh, certain words in, in movies or something like that. And basically, do you know that dude uh, who was killed in Umberto's clam house um, dude, on Mulberry that. Street? That's in, in real life. Oh. The dude that was actually killed. What's his name? I forget. The guy that was actually killed in Umberto's clam house. Apparently, they made it look like like it had to do with the Godfather. Uh, that movie being made because originally, what's his name? Gambino, it was Gambino. I can't remember. I, my brain doesn't fucking work properly, but um, but yeah, watch the offer. I'm not gonna. Uh, what up, Scott? Hey, 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 what's up, Mr. Scott? Um, uh, watch the offer. It's fucking great. Nah. Really good show. I'll catch it. I'll catch yeah, it. Tells you all about the Godfather and how the mob was actually involved with it. I mean, I mean, well, you think about it, man. A lot of those mafioso movies and stuff like that, you have to get permission. From these fuckers, you know, well, like listen you know, a lot. No I, offense, Paul, you fucking fuckers, you know. You I know, wouldn't say permission, but 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 you got to have knowledge and you know how it works and not disrespect anybody. Nah. I mean, the Sopranos, you know what I mean? Like they had, uh, what's is, his name? The guy that played Paulie Walnuts, he was in jail. You know, is what I mean? his son coming back and doing a fucking? Uh, sh- I don't know. Or, that, or I, is that just some bullshit? I hate these fucking fake posters. Yeah, oh, I hate God, the I fake posters. It makes me crazy. Somebody posted a fake po- uh, a poster of. Uh, that Rob Zombie was making like a Mr. Rogers kind of themed thing and uh, called Rogers. It, I don't know. Uh, and I hate, first of all, I hate Rob Zombie movies to begin with for the most part. He's got one or two. He's got, listen, three from, uh, uh, what's no, it called? No, three from hell is, a, is an acquired taste, but the other yeah, two were good. Yes. Uh, the Devil's Rejects. Devil's Rejects. Fucking, fucking, um, I appreciate it. Yeah, those are, those were an acquired taste. And I, I, I know people are going to, I like the Halloweens. Was it a backstory? Oh, suck my they dick. They showed backstory. I don't like the backstory. I want fucking Michael Myers to come from a from a a normal household. You know, I want his, his sister going to college, or blah, blah, and then like him having a normal upbringing. Then he just fucking kills. So his you sister. just want the original one? Yes, that's it. Okay. Yeah, I want the original. That's it. All right. I like a little left to the imagination. No, but I always wanted to see fucking you know little Mikey growing up, like like in the fucking place and you know. No, I mean, come he was on. abused. We got Shut Tre- up! Yeah, we got Robert Trejo in it, man. Shut we got up. Trejo in it. Oh man. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, but I am looking to that. What is that? In a violent nature that's coming out. Have you seen the preview for that? I think it's called a violent nature. I'm all about Deadpool, bro. Oh, it looks like Deadpool. I'm all about Deadpool. Wolverine Deadpool was good. Out. I'm not big into you know the Mad Max movie that just came out. I heard that shit flopped with 25 million, bro. Yeah, I mean it made 25 million this, on the weekend. On the, it's over on the, the big weekend. fucking Memorial Day weekend. And listen, it's gonna make more money than on people renting it. But Is I, it, they got Jason Momoa in there. No, 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 no. That's the dude to play Thor. The dude that got to play no, no, fucking uh, what's Helmsworth? Yeah, is oh, in it. Chris or the other one? Chris Helmsworth. Oh, right. no, his brother's not worth mentioning. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the other brother? His other brother's in The Witcher now. What are the Helmsworth? Are they wrestlers? No, well, no, well Chris Helmsworth has got to play Thor in all the Marvel movies. Oh, uh, okay, okay. His brother, his brother took over The Witcher from fucking uh, the guy to play Cavill? Super. Yeah, Henry Cavill from Superman. Oh, uh, he's The Witcher. He I was haven't... The Witcher. Uh, was The Witcher. Okay. Two seasons. I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I love original Mad Max stuff. Like. Beyond uh, up until Beyond Thunderdome, but the two first Mad Maxes were great. There was I mean, no CGI. Why didn't Mel Gibson come back? Uh, I mean, he's kind of like he doesn't do mainstream movies anymore. He's you know fucking I mean? Mad Max, though. I, I agree. I agree. 
It's amazing what he used to look like as a younger man. His bro, his brother's famous for marrying Miley Cyrus. Oh yeah. Oh wow. yeah. Love Miley Hellsworth? Cyrus. Hit Miley Cyrus. Love Miley Cyrus. I love her voice too. I hate all you motherfuckers that make fun of her voice. I don't. I don't. I hate love her raspy voice. I'm not hating on Miley Cyrus. <laughs> I, I don't have celebrity crushes and shit, and I'm just never into Miley Cyrus. But if I was famous, I would have taken a pass at that. Yeah, you would have taken a pass at it. You passed on. Nah, man, you got to hang out with Billy Ray Cyrus. Kinda, yeah, would you? Because you kind of got the white girl body. Yeah, but it's kind of shaped like a stick. It's honestly because um, I heard her on the Joe Rogan podcast, and one we're pretty close in the same age, and I just like the way she thinks. Yeah. Yeah. I don't hate her. I don't hate her. No, but she's fucking talented yeah. and human. Exactly. Yeah. I like that. I like it when they're human. Tap that, Miley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably a freak. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. I mean, what are you going to do? Jeff. Uh, yes. Kerry fucking King. It was pretty awesome. What a night that yeah, was. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. How the fuck night. did this whole fucking thing come about, dude? It took a year of planning, right? No, it wasn't that long. It's been a few months. It's been three or four months since I'd known about it. And when I first got hit up on it, I'm like, a friend of mine, this guy Matt, um, apparently kind of threw our name out there. Matt. Um, shout out to Matt. Matt. Um, Matt threw our name out there. And, um, and yeah, and I got hit up by their... The king hit you up, or they got the no, uh, no. He doesn't booking any, agency. He doesn't or whatever. make any phone calls. You know what I mean? Like he's got. I mean, he's I got I'm, his guys. I'm a fucking small fry. Dude. Yeah, I mean, he's got his guys. He doesn't have to do anything. You know what I mean? He's got okay. his guys. They and he tells them what he wants and wants to do. And uh, his guy hit us, hit me up, and I've been talking to his guy for the past few months, and um, I've known about it for a while. There's very few of us that know about it, mm. and uh, yeah, it was cool. It was cool. It was intimidating. It was a little stressful. Now, did he pull up in the limo, or did he just pull up a, in an no, Uber? It was car, it was Big car black service. SUV. Yeah, it's car service. And from what I know, he's like not. Uh, he doesn't. He's not a baller. He doesn't throw his money around like that. No. You know, he does well. He's done well for himself. Yeah, it was like a fucking Uber X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's listen. He's done well for himself, but yeah, he was he was chill, man. It was very intimidating when he walked in, but he cracked a little smile when he came in. Yeah. He was like, "Hey, man, nice to meet you. Thanks for having us. Very nice." And then from then on, I was it was you know. It was chill. I didn't we drank say shit the whole time. We drank, didn't a, say none. We drank a shit ton of Jaeger. That's my job. The shirts, dude. How cool were those shirts? Did that you see the shirts? Nice, dude. Those were fucking cool. A as limited shit. edition for that day, though, right? Oh yeah, they dude. Only. They made it was a one off. It was a one off, and um, you know, I figured, well, hang on, for we'll try selling them in ten years on eBay. How if fucking? I, how much was was, was a regular crowd allowed to come in? Or so, let me break down that part. So yeah. we were regular open during the day. We did a hard close at seven. Seven o'clock. Seven yeah. o'clock. Right when he came, is the hard close. So before he he maybe showed up seven thirty. Uh, yeah, he showed up at like seven thirty. Yeah. We were seven starting the party at eight. Yeah, everybody outside. Kicked the bar. them the fuck out. Everybody got to go. Like, yeah. yeah, you can sit outside, have a drink. You just can't be in here. Yeah, not yet. Ooh. I was just like watching the block, seeing what cars pulled up. So this big black SUV. I'm like, oh, here it comes. Walked in. They went straight to the back. His wife said hello to me and everything. And at eight o'clock, we started to let people in. Um, we had a hard count on the amount of people we could have in the bar. Were they inv- invites only or? So they had a list. It was 60 invites, but half of them didn't show. I knew a half were like out of town. So Yeah, we got 35 of those 60 people. So it was only, yeah. it was only invite only. Nobody could pre, pre-purchase no, you tickets. No, there was, there was no purchase in anything. Okay. So yeah, it yeah. was the list. Those people were guaranteed they had to get in. Yeah. And then I guess 60 of regular customers. Fans, whoever, or people that are just in people the that bar. just knew, like they felt it. They felt and the was, fucking the aura of Satan in the fucking. We stayed at a town. good number most of the night. There was only one person that was really fucked up, and he left. Yeah, there was one dude. He was. It was like seven thirty. I was no. It was. It was like eight thirty, and the guy's passed out, <laughs> snoring on the fucking. Side. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like he just got up and he just wandered out. His boy, his boy walked him out. He was. He was Did he, he know who was fucking rolling in here, or he just like yeah, fuck yeah, it? I'm know. fucked up. Some who people knows? knew. Some people didn't. Some people knew Jesse would be here. Yeah, Jesse yeah. was here too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, we sat outside. We smoked cigars together. That was nice. Yeah. But uh, you could tell people that everybody that had on a kill switch and gay shirt. I'm like, oh, they know Jesse's gonna be. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. You know what's funny, man? Jesse's my boy. I fucking love him. I forget who he is sometimes. You know what I mean? He's Jesse, like, bro. Yeah, he's my boy. Jesse. I feel like sometimes he does too. He does. Well, it's yeah, yeah. He, you know, he's super great. He's it's such the a J and J club, he's bro. Fucking, when he walks in with you, yeah, he's humble such a, as shit. He's very humble, very grateful. Super sweet guy, man. 
Super sweet. Love I guess Jesse. I got to thank you for introducing me to him because he's really Not fucking cool. The Triple J Show. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? Well, our fucking birthdays are a week apart. That's yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get Jesse on sometime. He, he's very, he's super fucking whatever, man. He's great. Yeah, extremely humble guy. Yeah. Glad to have met him. Yeah. Yeah, and he was hanging out here Sunday. We did a little barbecue on Sunday. Um, any, um, any uh, like with the Kerry King, any, any, um, I don't, I don't want to fucking say superstars, but any fucking rock legends or anybody come? I mean, listen, the besides guy. Besides the God himself, you know, King. You know what was cool? You know what was cool about it? Because I, I was getting hit up afterwards. I heard some. I don't want to go, you know, shouting anybody's name off. But, yeah. uh, you know, I heard uh, a couple guys like saw. saw Did like, my homie saw Scott come? Did Scott, was Scott in no, here? No, there was nobody. There was nobody like that here. Fuck. No, there was nobody like that here. Come on, Scott. You should have came. The guy Mark, Mark though, the new singer from uh, Kerry King's Project, was in here. Um, he came all the way out from the West Coast. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah a lot yeah. of his personal friends was here. I think I think that was cool. Yeah, because there are people that weren't on the list, and I had to come confirm them. It's like, no, that, those are like his friends. Like, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Because yeah, sometimes you get so fucking big, yeah. and it's just like, oh, these are like people that I know in the industry. Not like, oh, this is somebody I knew from way back when. Like his tattoo artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came in. A couple of his wife, a lot of his wife's friends were here. Yeah. Equally as crazy. It was great, man. It was great. Yeah, it was fun. It was a fun night. As I said, he only had to hang out till 10. We had a, we had a little personal Jaeger. Jaeger shots were free all night long for everybody. Damn. The whole bar, Jaeger shots were free. Fuck. Um, you know how I feel about Jaeger. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. The, guy, the Jaegermeister rep was here, a guy, uh, Jack, who was awesome. Uh, really cool guy. Yeah, he was Gabe. That's their personal shit too, right? Because I know he's a fucking Jaeger guy, right? Yeah, well, I mean, listen, he he's sponsored by Jaeger, so uh, he's got his own personal Jaeger machine. Um, How does he it's got that? flames oh, on. How do you guys drink What's that cold, shit? cold, cold. He likes it cold because I said Negative I was 18. like, "Are you a Ray Jaeger guy?" And he's like, "Listen, I'm an anything kind of guy, but as long as that's cold, I'll fucking drink it." <laughs> and I feel that way about Jaeger too. As long as it's fucking cold, I'll drink it. You know what I mean? One though, man. But oof, it was so funny that you saw the twist in people. Like, listen, I'm not used to drinking that much Jaeger, but you got a free Jaeger machine sitting there all night long. Yeah. And I don't just usually just tap into my own supply and drink it all night because I know I'm paying for it eventually. So I don't usually take advantage. But that night, Jaeger was paying for everything. So I'm doing shots just like everybody else. And, uh, yeah. And it, Ralph. Did you see fucking yeah. Ralph? <laughs> Woof. Our boy Ralph. Yeah, Jaeger would do it to you, man. Yeah, Ralph got fucking twisted, too. But I've always said, and, and it's weird, and I, I can say, I can speak that much for myself, even though I can drink a lot of Jaeger. But if I, if I got to deal with somebody that we got to put out, yeah. if they've been drinking Jaeger all night, it's like, oh, man, this is going to be rough. Yeah. It's a, it, it unlocks a certain level of animal in you. Let me, let me ask, bit. from a fan's perspective, free CDs, free MP3 downloads, anything like that? or No. Well, he gave, they, they sent me the record to download. Okay. Uh, before oh. it was even out. Yeah, so before it was oh, out. Sure. Yeah, and then oh my god, I'm such an idiot though. Like the day before, I'm like, "Yo, Jamal, we got to get it on my computer so we can." And I'm like, "So we can download it." And but it came out that day, so it was on Spotify, so I didn't have to worry about <laughs> fucking. Dude, we did so much. <laughs> we just, yo, he he put it on his computer. He, he emailed it from his computer to my uh, phone. I sent it to another phone. I made a playlist. I downloaded it on my phone, and then it came out that day. So god damn. Yeah, we just <laughs> want to make everything perfect. Yeah, yeah we we're trying to make it perfect, <laughs> and it fucking was. It was good, man. Was. I made some mistakes, but whatever. Just I just know for the next time to cater to people a little bit better and not find out exactly how they like their drinks and like you know I yeah. so had a in, in the twenty years. It, is that one of the biggest things? You feel oh my like? god, Kerry King, fuck yeah, he is the biggest, and also the first time that that has come in that we actually like had like. Listen, Candiria, Johnny's my boy, so, like, you know, Candiria threw a party years ago. A certain, like, smaller bands have had parties and stuff. But as far as, like, bigger bands, this, I guess we had the Amon Moth guy, the Amon Moth guys in here one mm-hmm. time, too. But nobody of Kerry King status. I mean, to uh, me, that's, it's, like. It's funny, it's though. big four right there, that's brother. My, exactly. You know what I mean? The, the only, only bigger one than that is Metallica walking in here, to be honest with you. You Man. know what I mean? Like I, I looked at the pictures ugh. from that night, and I, and I knew what it was when I saw the picture. Because I've never really seen Melody intimidated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. looking at the picture. I'm like, oh, shit, y'all both nervous as fuck. Yeah, right? I was I still today. couldn't pitch. I still can't believe I saw a picture of you, him, and Melody in the same fuck. And I was like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah, it it's still cool. weird, bro. It was weird, dude. I, listen, I was texting my friend. So my friend Chris, you know, Chris, my, Chris Santos just did a... Um, 
He just collaborated with Metallica. Is that the cooking guy? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's the chef. He's on okay. uh, Food Network. He's on Chopped and stuff. So he just collaborated with Metallica and did like a Happy Meal for Metallica. How cool is that? You know what I mean? So he actually, and like, dude, the whole time he's like, when he's collaborating with these guys, he's, he's like, dude, can you believe I'm like fucking talking to these guys and like actually collaborating? <laughs> they posted him on his on their Instagram page. Like, how intimidating is that? Oh and so God. I'm hit, and he knows Carrie. Wait, he, did Metallica put him on the video? Metallica, like, That's you look like at their... Inst- what was that, like 50 million on the Yeah, so right look, now like, you. you look at their inst- hit the Metallica's Instagram, like they said, look, is collaborating with Chris, Shant- Chris Santos, and they put a picture of him. And he's like, can you imagine? And I'm like, no, I'm like, I don't know how you're pulling this off, bro, because I'm nervous, and I got Carrie King coming here. He's dealt with Carrie quite a few times, so he knows he, him and Carrie are actually friends. Metallica, next album drop, Lucky 13, make yeah. it happen. Yeah. Oh, man. So, uh, but, you know, he's used to dealing with that. I'm like, dude, I don't know how you do this all the time because I'm nervous as shit. And he's like, don't worry. He's like, Carrie's really cool. Like, he seemed very intimidating for us, but don't worry about it. Carrie's cool. And it was whatever. And then that's how it was. I guess you got you to understand at the end of the day, they're just dudes. He does you know seem I mean? like out of all of Slayer, it would be him and Lombardo, like not, you know, Hanneman was fucking always a loner. But him and Lombardo seem like the two dudes that would just fucking crack a beer with you and chill. And uh, what's cool about it is, you know, because everybody's like, dude, he's always, he never smiles. I'm like, you know what, dude? Like, he's been Slayer. He shouldn't smile. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but he did. When he came in, he was great. He didn't take his sunglasses nice. off, right? No, he had sunglasses off. That's yeah, f- yeah. I, wait, he took them off? Yeah, they were he, off. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. When he came in. Yeah, no, he didn't have them on. I don't expect him ever to take those fucking things off. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. He was chill, man. Very cool. Dude, I remember being in high school looking up biggest wall of death in the world it was fucking slayer yeah well listen and you also think of how big he is he's not he's my size you know what i mean he's nah. like i wouldn't have he, guessed that also. yeah no not at all but you look at it did you see the picture of him and jeff uh the guy that fills uh, in yeah, yeah. the guy jeff from enrage um i mean carrie king is like up you know enrage yeah, right jeff is also kind of tall too jeff is humongous <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah king's yeah. like what like five eight yeah, he's Five probably nine. yeah, he's probably my size, maybe even Five. a little bit shorter. But you know, he's larger than life, though. It's fucking Kerry King. So it was awesome, um, very cool. Um, guy Gerardo who helped set it up, who set it up, super sweet guy, yeah, very shout nice. Out to Gerardo. Yeah, he was super nice. I didn't really get to hang with him. Oh my god, though, you know who I fucking met, who I have to hit up, uh, who I was just as excited about as almost as I met Kerry King. Ooh. So the guy who works for NECA. Uh, the toy company. Hey, give me some toys, bro. Dude, he brought me toys. Give me some fucking toys. He brought man. me toys. Who would he bring you? Who'd he he bring brought you? me um, Leatherface. He brought me. Motherfucker. The three. Um, he brought me an Eddie. Uh, Motherfucker. Iron Maiden Eddie. He brought me uh, the dude from Night of the Living Dead. Motherfucker. Return of the Living Dead, the, the Tar Man. Yeah. He brought me him and he brought me um, uh, some Devil's Rejects. Dolls. Fuck. Fucking awesome. Dude, he told me, he brought me dolls. He's like, dude, I see you. He's like, I've been in here before. I see you got a whole bunch of my stuff around. He's like, yeah. I was like, oh my fucking awesome. So he gave me his number. I got a text. What's him. his name? Randy. Randy, Dave. Dave likes your stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> I got he's, a bunch of them on my house. So he's got a, he, he's like, dude, I got a place in New Jersey where we make everything. He said, where in Jersey? I don't know. I'll find out. I think Jersey. I'll City. drive you there. He's dude. like, <laughs> he's like, why don't you come over and, and uh, I'll give you a little tour of. I'll of drive you. There. Tell me I'm when like, you're coming. Like, I'll pick you up. I'm like, you know, dude, I'm, I was so excited to meet him. It was really nice of him to bring me some I didn't know Necker was made in Jersey. Yeah. Holy yeah. Shit. He's like, dude, you got my Eddie up there, the SOD, like all these fucking things. So Oof. I was very excited. I was like, get the fuck out of here. And he's like, yeah, I brought you some toys too. I was like, nice. super fucking cool, man. You're the only guy I know that takes them out of the box, though. I not are you kidding me? I have a whole bunch of houses that are in my box. And, oh, okay. and I've stopped taking them out of the box. I I, I They're used delicate to. as fuck, dude. They're del- that Eddie one, I wish I didn't take that out of the box. I took I had a Captain Spaulding one somebody stole it. What? I had out of the box though. But that was you know, that thing was a thousand bucks out of the fucking box. Yeah. It was a like ten inch or twelve inch one. Oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, some of them. Are, listen, I ha- I wanna you know, I gotta take them out of yeah, the box. Gutter Christ is selling a Captain Spaulding one, uh for like, I think like maybe like sixty to a hundred. Yeah. Yeah, he's selling. He's got a, on his Facebook. Page. It's a small one though. Yeah, the small one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, it's like the, the twelve inch ones. one. Yeah. Motherfucker, somebody stole it out of here. Shit. Motherfuckers. That's why I gotta keep stuff up high. But listen, usually if I unbox something, usually I'll buy two of them. Yeah. You know what's funny? At home, I just bought a, uh, I bought an Elvira salt and pepper shaker. And her tits are. Like, <laughs> and uh, I had that's out of the box. And Diane's, and I was like, you know what? Diane's a klutz. 
Maybe I'll buy a second one. <laughs> oh, and shit. I went to go buy a well, second one. What is it one. made out of, though? What is it made? Of? Like wood? It's or? like porcelain. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went to go buy a second one. And it's out of stock now. Fuck. So I got to put it back in the box <laughs> and put it on a shelf. Because <laughs> Diane's like, oh, why don't we have this on the kitchen table? I'm like, you're not putting that on the kitchen table because you're gonna drop, you're gonna drop a boob, and then we're gonna be out of what salt or pepper. One boob down. Yeah. So and it was funny because she was going to throw the box away the other day, and I was like, I took the box out of the garbage. Oh shit. And I, I'm gonna pack. I mean, it the back box out. would probably be worth something too. You know. You yeah, I don't know. know. It's fucking Elvira. It's my childhood shit. crush, bro. Everybody's childhood crush, man. Yeah. She was in her fucking fifties when I was a fucking kid, man. Still. She still looks great. Yeah, she, I, mean, I still can't believe even out of the makeup, she looks amazing. She looks great. You know? Yeah. That's one chick, bro. It's like, yeah, are you, are you old? You don't look it. She's old. I, I, yeah, I know. She's right? old. <laughs> She's got to be seventy. That's why, yeah. It's, it's kind of weird. Right? My mom's like eighty four, eighty five, and I'm She's like, gotta I be can't 70. look at you, Elvira. You're almost like my mom. Oh shit! My son, boy, Chris just hit me up. Well, we got something else, though. Besides, well, we're, we're going to go to NECA. Yeah. You got a tribute to Eddie Leeway coming up, man. Yes, we have that coming up. That's exciting, too. Who Killing Time is playing here, which I'm really? super fucking excited about Killing Time. I love Killing Time. One of the first hardcore bands I get Are into. they going to do their own set? Or are they going to be like yeah, Eddie, yeah, yeah. Is it gonna be like Leeway covers? No. Uh, so there's going to be, I think there's a couple openers. Uh, what's this the flyer over there? Where's the flyer? I'll pull it up. Right, uh, right there. So we got Ice Cold Killer, Silence Equals Death. Oh, you uh, oh shit, you moment, got it right there. Yeah, on the Moment of wall. Truth, Fire is Murder, all those bands. And then they do, token entry, then they're doing a Leeway tribute set. Leeway's backup band. The Leeway, to, Leeway NYC? Yeah, Leeway NYC's band is going to be playing, and then they're going to have uh, some guest, uh, guest guys on vocals. They got people from uh, the uh, OG Leeway? Yes. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think he... Got along with those guys anymore. You know, he was a drug addict back in the day. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Didn't yeah. do some good things with some people, unfortunately. He was, you do as a drug addict. One of the guy, uh, one of the OG guitar player passed away a little bit before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck, yeah. man. Yeah, but I don't think the, new, the old band liked him very much. You know what I mean? Like, whatever, man, you make mistakes when you're a fucking drug addict. Man. I know some bands that he fucked over back in the day. Too, I mean, but you know what, like, man? The gentleman's passed away, bro. You know, pay, pay the respect. I mean, even Yeah, no, hate, I know. They, you know. I know. Listen, he was a drug addict. What are you going to do, man? Like, it's a shame that he was a fucking drug addict. Because you know what? Leeway could have been, uh, you know, a fucking... They were a game changer for, yeah. the, you know, they were... They I, were did, I, did, I dig it, man. And that Leeway I NYC, man. bro, I fucking do that. That Pusher song, I love yeah. it, bro. Still pumping it. And listen, like Leeway was one of those first crossover bands, you know, you know, when metal and, and hardcore yeah. stuff first started combining. It was like, uh, it was like, wow, this isn't really hardcore, but this there's isn't. a few man, like, like I would say, like, like, like game changer vocals. I'll put Leeway up there with like, I mean, a motherfucker probably hate me, but like with VOD, I was just gonna say VOD. With VOD, VOD dude, it's like, changer. dude, it's like they're hardcore, but it's like, bro, these dudes are doing some different shit. Yeah, well, you know what's really funny. I got a funny story about VOD. So my band, we have, I wish Ronnie was listening to us because uh, Ronnie was the one who fucking uh, said this. I told Ronnie we were going on at 4.30. I don't know if he's listening. but So back in the day, we played, uh, when I was in the band with Ron um, called Malafacia, like there was nobody really doing the singing, screaming stuff. Yeah. Um, and But the band that I was in with Ron, we were. And oh, Ron's there. Ron's Ron, here. Ronnie knows the story because Ronnie tells me this story. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ronnie, didn't we not? The VOD, we played with VOD at CC's before he was doing the sing, singing, screaming stuff. Yeah. And after we played with them, and now our singer Jonas, Ronnie and uh, Jonas, was we were playing with, was doing the singing, screaming stuff. Same and, style man, like VOD style? Very or? much that. Well, yes, very much like VOD. And like Jonas's voice was comparable to the dude from VOD. And um, um, after we played with VOD, then VOD started doing the singing, screaming stuff, which was kind of wild. Um, and he listen. He did great at it, but oh, yeah. that fucking that green I drip don't album's the shit. I don't remember that as much as Ronnie does. Ronnie's got a better memory than me. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> so he totally ripped us off. Um, Ronnie's got a better memory than I do, but yeah, we played with them at uh, CC's back in the day. Yeah. yeah, then they're doing the fucking uh, uh, yeah. What are you gonna do? I mean, hey, God bless fucking Eddie Leeway. Yeah, you know, great, great fucking I. I sh- I mean, anybody, like, my brother died from cancer, so anybody who gets cancer, yeah. I always fucking pray you, you could beat it. You know? Fucking Morgan Spurlock just died from cancer. Fucking, uh, what's his name from, oh, God, um, God damn it, the fucking, uh, one of the fucking Boston Celtics. Yeah. 
Bill, 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 Bill fucking Bill. Belichick? No, Bill. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. Just died last night, bro. Fucking. Uh, was, yeah. No, uh, Morgan Spurlock, the guy who did supersize me, died from Yes. Uh, from 53 cancer. years old, yeah, dude. Yeah, young, man. These motherfuckers are hiding. Them. I mean, I feel bad. I know it's like it's your personal life, man. But like you know, a lot of people like you're not even know that they have this shit. You yeah. Know? Well, I mean, who wants Bill to Walton? Point? Bill Walton, the fucking NBA player, bro. Seventy seventy three years old, passed away from cancer. I mean, seventy three. All right. Yeah. All right. Fifty three. Yeah. Morgan Spurlock, bro. Come yeah. On. He was in good shape too. I think that fucking. I think eating that McDonald's and doing that documentary fucked him up. But like, like for future purposes. In yeah. His I, body. Mean, I don't think it. I don't know if that game. Because, dude, no, because they fucking said after they after he fucking did the documentary, bro, they said that, they're like, yeah, that McDonald's was kind of fucking up your body, dude. Like, I mean, yeah, I mean, he was. Bro, breakfast, lunch, and dinner for a month. Yeah, that was crazy. Nah, dude, like, even, even like, me, you, and Jamal, like, it was never breakfast, lunch, and dinner for a month. Maybe, yeah. you know, lunch here and there, but this dude did it three fucking times Why a day. would you do that? Did you see Super Size Me? You never saw the me? documentary no. Super Size Me? Uh, oh, no, I heard about it. Yeah, so, I mean, he's too young. So back in the day, Super Size Me was, you know, they, he did he did uh, a documentary about basically how McDonald's is fucking shit. Boy. That documentary is the reason why they took the Super Size off the menu, and they also put fucking calorie count on the menu because of that documentary. Yeah. So he's a martyr. Yeah, yeah, and, like, so he did, he went and he drank, he ate McDonald's for one month, ate at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and any time they, they said, Even would snacks. you like to Super Size, he had to Super Size it. So like, well, it, it's not gonna give him cancer. It'll give him all kinds of other complications. Oh yeah, it fucked him up. Well, they like, didn't say what kind of cancer he had. He could have had fucking colon cancer for all we know, man. I'm that sure shit probably could, fucked him up. I'm sure we could Google that shit and find out what kind, I tried, what kind of cancer. I tried, dude. I tried. Yeah, I can't. Oh, yeah. Can't see it yet, man. Yeah, crazy. But I think it was the McDonald's that fucking futurely. Fucked not for him. one month, because after that they I, they had asked. I remember seeing an interview with him and asking him if he had had he hadn't had McDonald's since. So. He did that for a month, and yeah. his girlfriend was, or his wife was, like a vegan chef, also. So yeah. I know his, bro- he- his brother worked with him on the movies and shit, man. This fuck as a producer, fifty three, yeah. bro. Fifty three, too young. Fuck, man, crazy. Everybody has cancer these days. Well, in America, America. That's I tell you, it's the shit they're putting in the food that are giving people cancer, autism, all that shit. That's what they're putting in the food. Listen, and, 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 uh, I can't even go down that rabbit hole, dude. I, 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 you know, it's true. It's what they're putting in no, the food. No, it is. And even what they're putting outside of the food, because, you know, what they, 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 I just saw what they lace. I love fucking green apples and cucumbers and what they uh, actually. Don't fuck lace. cucumbers for me, man. What the, well, you just peel them, peel them before you eat yeah, them you because the stuff, the coating that they put on the outside. But uh, pickles, I was, man. I was reading pickles. I mean, I don't know. Hopefully, they don't have to well, put that. Well, it's of fermentation. Of yeah. So what they but but I saw a whole thing of how to get the coating off of it. But you got to soak it in like apple cider, or you got to soak it in like vinegar and in water and bacon soda, and yeah. then the, the I'm like, really, dude? I should be able to just wash it off with warm water. It used to be just a wax, and yeah. you know what's funny? I noticed it recently because I used to just wash my apples under warm water and and but don't they the say like the skin is off. like the skin has the fucking fiber that's in it got the shit? most nutrients yeah. in it yeah but yeah. they're ruining the fucking skin because they're putting all these chemicals on it. and that's what I really noticed nice. recently when I was trying to wash my green apples my hands would get sticky so there's this weird coating they're putting oh. on the green apple and apparently I ain't like, eating apples no more uh, fuck that fuck I love apples. green apples bro Fuck apple sauce. I need, you know what it is? I need to, I need to move to the country and have an apple yeah. orchard. Yeah, grow your own shit. I grow my own shit, grow man. Grow some shit. Yeah. Nah, but the government owns the land. Not my, I want my land. own little piece of land. I just want my yeah, own little piece of land. And they'll come in there and Big Brother will be like, "What are you trying to do over here?" It is. You're trying to grow. Yeah. Buy my apples. They're gotta... fresh and slimy. <laughs> Fuckers. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I try to eat clean. Doesn't happen all the time. It's not gonna fucking happen, dude. No. It's never gonna fucking happen. Try. We can only try. You know, it's like you you could you, you're gonna like like I I learned it whatever fucking lost forty pounds, but I still fucking break down, dude. I still had a hamburger, not a McDonald's hamburger, but I had a homemade fucking hamburger. It's not bad for you. A homemade burger is gonna be better than the fast food. Homemade's not. Home, I don't know, man. I, I love a good Shake Shack burger once in a while too. Yeah, but Shake Shack, they just built a shit. Yeah, but Shake Shake Shack's good meat. It's not all dude, filled with. Dude, they just built a Shake Shack in Jersey City, baby. Dude, a lot of those McDonald's are disappearing. The Shake Shack's starting to pop up. And they, Shake Shack's cleaner it's than the McDonald's. Greasiest burger I've ever seen. For now, Five Guys is the greasiest burger. Yeah, fuck. Five, I can't twenty five dollar burger. I can't yeah. even eat five guys. My fuck fucks up my. They belly. don't put nothing on it unless you ask them to put something on it. It's like what the fuck is that, dude? Five guys. Yeah, they don't put no condiments on it unless you ask them. Well, that sounds kind of nice. Yeah. No, come on, you don't want some onions, tomatoes, lettuce on nope. your burger? Lettuce, fine. I don't no. want onions. I don't want tomatoes. I don't want ketchup. Oh, you can keep the ketchup. That's a lot of sugar in that motherfucker. 
Yeah, yeah, I hear you, bro. You know, I just found out there's sugar in milk. There's sugar in everything. Milk. Everything. Most of the things that you like that taste really good have a lot of sugar in it. I don't understand. I, why you got to put sugar in everything? So it makes it taste good. Yeah. Wow. It gets you addicted, too. We get addicted to Wait, sugar. Wait, mustard, too? America. Mustard. Fuck yeah, Mustard sugar got mustard. sugar in it? Yeah, of course it does. Fuck. Everything's got sugar in it. You know what don't got sugar in it? What? Uh, that fucking uh, Red Hot, that Mike's Red Hot shit. No Frank's sugar. Red Hot? Frank's Red Hot. That's why I say yeah. Mike's Red Hot. I, I like Frank's Red Hot. <laughs> Frank's Red Hot's good for No good sugar. Shit. Yeah? No sugar. I like Frank's. A lot of salt. No sugar. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> they got to get you somehow. What are you going to do, man? We're all going to die. Yeah. So, what time is it? 5.12. We still got a few more minutes. We got a few more minutes. So what's, what's, Dude, what's, what's, it, what's what's coming, coming up? up? There's more shit coming up. Oh, I don't even know what's Fucking coming up, Summertime man. is around the yeah, corner. Yeah, summertime. It's already here, bro. They're showing Killer Clowns from Outer Space here tomorrow night, which I'm Wait, excited about. I thought you guys about. did that already, you know? No, they do, it, they do a movie here once a month or twice a month, uh, this uh, Brooklyn Horror Society. So, they do a little... Uh, they talk about the movie back here and whatever. It's pretty got a cool. Popcorn oh, machine going. Or? Troma's got. Uh, we're talking about doing a Troma dance over here, which the is the like fuck a, tro- is a Troma dance. You know Troma, the f- company like uh, um, uh, Toxic Avenger, oh, okay. Poultry Guys, uh, all those. Mo- we show a ton of those movies here. B movies. Yes. Okay. Um, they're talking about they're going to do a festival over here in September. It's like a three day thing, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Inside Lucky Thirteen? Yes. Well, it's not going to be outside Lucky oh, Thirteen. Man, yes, I'm saying, it's be, you might it's knock down be. the wall and tell people go away. Yeah, they're going to do movies, bands, all that kind of stuff. They're going to do a whole weekend here, I think. So that'll be fun. Oh shit! I like me some trauma. Shit. Closing down the fucking block. Fucking right. I would like to close down a little the block. Block party. It's exhaust, bro. Trying to do all this kind of stuff, man. It's exhausting. You know. I mean, you'd have to get all these other places involved, and they'd have to fucking have their fucking shindigs out there, too. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm okay with that. But then just trying to go get the permits pulled and all that kind of stuff, I'm not good with all paperwork. Thanks, brother. Trying, man. Making shit happen. Trying. Yeah, we're still trying to work on Florida someday. Wait, what the fuck happened? It didn't, it didn't fall through? Ugh, yeah, we put a we put an offer on. I mean, I can talk about it now. We put an yeah, offer. Yeah, please do. We put an offer on an old church down there. The thing was awesome. It was yeah, you really said you cool. Had the fu- it was a fucking nice joint. You were talking. Oh, it was about. cool. It was a cool location. It was right off the highway. It was big. Um, yeah, we're trying. We're trying. We're still trying with Florida. So yeah, we did. Uh, we put an offer on the place, and we, did, we we they wanted a cash offer. You know what I mean? So whatever, we didn't end up getting it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. How much? How much? Wait, they want. They, they didn't want to go through the banks and that. They, they didn't want to go through the banks. Well, listen, we need to make sure that the we, mafia. No, it was a church, you know. So I, you figured they wanted the money and run. Yeah. Uh, so if something's if, funky about that, then man, no, nobody good. does cash. Sure, if somebody's got that kind of money, they just want the land. You know, they can build a condo or something there. You, okay. All these real estate developers, they got cash like that. We don't have cash like that. I never heard of anybody doing that, but that yeah, sounds like a sure. mafia shit. It wasn't. It wasn't super expensive. It was reasonably priced. Um, you know, people got that kind of cash laying around. I'm, not us, unfortunately. But we tried, but we, we needed at least 60 days to make sure we can get a liquor license on it and stuff like that also. So. And they didn't want to do it? No, they didn't want to wait that long. So what about the other place, the, the two service? That one I don't want to talk about yet. We'll yeah. see. We're trying for another one. We'll see. Look, man, you need to just forget Florida. Florida could be the third place. Well, listen, Jersey... They just lightened up the liquor laws in Jersey. Don't go down to shore, but it was just gun shooting down there. No, I don't want to go down to shore. Anyway. Uh, I, listen, I would do over by like where the Bada Bing is. You know what I mean? Like Dude, that area. Grab it. You know? And you know what you could do? What? You could have a half bar, half weed shop. Well, you can do that. That's the second time. <laughs> like, I've had people ask about that. Yeah. Oh, you make more money in weed than you do with liquor? I know, but I don't know shit about weed. You I'm know not, people I'm, that do know shit yeah, about be, weed. I know, but that'd be like me. I'd be a poser. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'd Fuck be it. Poser You'd be a poser the walking in a bank going, <laughs> 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 Yeah. I might, you know what's funny? My old boss opened up a big weed place in uh, Jersey. Bro, look well, at Rick Flair. The fucking you know, Rick is a great wrestler. He's a stupid man, great wrestler. Fucking all his money was going into alimony payments. Put his name on a fucking weed brand. This dude has money. For days now, bro. Yeah. He has so much money now, you don't even know what the fucking do with it. I would like to make a Lucky 13 weed. But I, I mean, I don't even know how to get into that business. I don't know. Dude, I'd have, to, uh, th- I'd have mean, to start researching it. There's actually quite a few regulars that come here that have those kind of connections. Yeah. 
Suck. Suck. You go to Jersey, bro. You make a half bar. Oh, you make the bar. Me and Melly. And then you open up a weed shop. Can you open up like a smoking lounge of weed? Yeah. I don't think you can do that. No, yeah, you, you just got you got to you got to go, like it's like everything. You got to go through the paperwork with the city. Yeah. Like, oh, what was it? The, the dude cigar from cigar lounge. Well, no, the dude from Wu Tang Clan. Fucking um. Oh god, I, one of the Wu Tang guys can't remember his fucking name was trying to open up a, uh, a smoke weed lounge in Jersey City. But I couldn't get the right paperwork going. But it's it's there. Yeah, I get it. But you got a guy like that who can't get yeah. it done. Who's probably got more money than we do to get Snoop it done. Snoop Dogg you know walking I mean? that place will do it. You need Snoop Dogg money to figure. But then also too, it's you got to consider it's Jersey City. If you're away from the city area and you got any, like on the highway or some shit, different fucking story. I wish I had that fuck you money where I could be like, listen, call my lawyer and be like, hey man, I want I got this idea. I'll pay you to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. I wish I had that kind of shit. But definitely, money. dude, fuck. make make Florida or California your third destination. No, Florida, dude. Uh, Florida, Florida's happening. Florida's happening. It's and happening. to, all right, one of my main motivators, too, my parents are down there. My dad is losing his mind slowly. You know what I mean? He doesn't, I don't know how much longer he's going to be on. So it'd be nice to go down there and spend a little time with my dad and build the fucking place out. You know what I mean? So, yeah. um, Jacksonville does need a metal bar, but Ronnie, I did. I looked into Jacksonville. The problem with Jacksonville is that the um, church bought up a ton of the liquor licenses down there. There's Hallelujah. Only, yeah, there's only a certain amount of, that, of, how can of that liquor be legal? licenses. How can it's, that be it legal? Can't, but they're, they're like, fuck you. They don't want They don't want Jacksonville. Listen, Jacksonville's right by the water. They don't want it turning into a Daytona or something like that. So they bought up all the liquor licenses. That this should is, be illegal, dude. This is what I've heard if about you're not buying, If you're not fucking having, if you don't have a bar or a liquor store, you shouldn't have a liquor license. It's bullshit. You shouldn't be able to hoard them. Yeah. And you know what? What what they, I know, listen, when I know what happened in Jersey. There's people that owned liquor licenses in Jersey. Yeah. Um, that were hoarding them because they're you're it's a million dollars for a liquor license in New Jersey. No. Um, what? Pathetic satanic symbolism. Yeah, you should see my dick, you fucking cunt. <laughs> Nobody buying into this. Wow. What are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about. You fucking talking dope. about liquor licenses. Yeah, you no, fucking tough guy. Yeah, fucking dope. <laughs> I don't fucking get it. Yeah, you know what he's talking about. Um, are you saying Jersey with the liquor license? Yeah, so this guy in Jersey owned, uh, oh, like, I know a guy in Jersey who owned a liquor license in Jersey, and now they're taxing him for it because he doesn't use it. Mm. So he's getting beat over the head, and uh, they changed the laws down there and stuff like that. What's he saying now? Oh, in inverse pentagram. Oh, Jesus Christ. Who's this guy? Learn stuff. Who's oh, this guy? Uh, don't mock if you don't. Oh, shut up. You're fucking retarded. Oh, man. <laughs> One of these. Stop. Days. I bet you love the system. System oh of a down? God. Yeah. Who the fuck has time to do that? I bet that? you love dick. Fucking <laughs> weirdo. <sighs> love trolls. Oh, Jesus. Satanic temple. Shut up. This is the best. Shut up. Oh, silence. Silence. <laughs> Why don't you call us, bro? Talk to us. Yeah. Dumb smart ass. Yeah. I don't get it. <laughs> I love you called me dumb and smart in the same sentence. Dumb smart ass. What the fuck is like these one word messages? Come on, we're not talking about shit. I don't know. Stupid. Listen, you know the address, dude. Yeah, there you, you know go. That. Come, come on down. down. Come down. Come on down. down. Six forty four yeah, teach, teach us about Satanism, bro. Teach me about Satan. <laughs> I love to know. <laughs> I don't know anything. Just teach me about Satan. I'll be here all <laughs> night. Come check yeah. with me. All night long. Oh, all night. Nerd. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, so what are you saying, man? The fucking Jersey licenses. Oh, uh, so Jersey liquor licenses. So uh, they, they just they they they're hard to get. You know what I mean? But they have changed the rules over there now. So okay. I know the guy that owned that liquor license. His liquor license has dramatically depreciated. Um, really? So now he's trying to open up something before he loses it. Because if he doesn't use it, they will take it away from him. Really? Yes. Huh? Can uh, he sell which them? is great. Yeah, he can sell it. He probably tries. Well, he can, can sell. Well, every, well, like, what are they? All he's selling? better off. He's better off leasing it though. Well, what are they selling what for? Like half a mil? What's that? Is it like half a mil to buy a liquor license or some shit? Uh, in, in Jersey now, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I know they the the, the governor actually just freed up liquor licenses and he's making it much easier. Because listen, you know, in Jersey, all you got opening up is these big, uh, um, um, yeah. There you go. Here, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's a liquor store by where I grew up, man. Uh, where the guy the guy owned the building, yeah. the liquor license, all like the fucking places where you can get the liquor and stuff like that. Yeah. And he sold all of that for just a million dollars. Yeah. You know, the building, the fucking the the deed, all the deals with yeah, the yeah, with yeah. the places, a million bucks. 
for the whole yeah the you whole know, thing. and i i saw i actually saw one uh a place for sale i mean it's easier if you just want to sell the whole thing in a in a in a bundle i mean yeah. i would think it's easier but uh but yeah listen man i've looked into new jersey and my i spoke to my um lawyer about jersey too the problem with jersey too that makes me nervous um is depending on what part of jersey you do it in mm-hmm. you got small town cops who don't have anything else to do and they're going to post right upside of your place at two in the morning and wait for people to drive drunk which is going to it, you know even people that aren't drinking and driving it's it's I, you don't want cops sitting there watching you leave like it's nah. it's stressful you know what i mean so it'll fuck with your business a little bit that i mean, well, me I, mean I mean you do gotta i mean they, you wind up making fucking friends or whatever you know yeah yeah, shit, yeah you know it's yeah. Like, Listen, Florida, with everything that's been happening this year, Florida is going to happen. You know, keep your energy in the right place. A lot of good things, a lot of new things happen this fucking year. Yeah. And listen, every time, every time I stray away from, because like when that church fell through, I was like, fuck you. I was like, I'm done. I'm done with Florida. I'm starting to look at other cities. So that's what I started doing. I started looking at New Orleans. I started looking at Vegas. I started looking at Nashville and just started, I looked in Cities in Texas, you know what I mean. So I just start seeing if anything's available. You see anything in Nashville? Everybody's going to Nashville. Yeah, I've, I've seen places in Nashville, and honestly, when all of a sudden I start getting pulled to another city, fucking Tampa pulls me back in. You know what I mean? Shit. So I feel like that's the spot. I listen. I got support down there. I know a ton of people. I have a lot of good friends down there man. and family. So um, that's why. Oh, but this I'm is the second time the Bada Bing popped up, man. Is it for sale again? It should be. It was for sale. It's, I'm sure it's not fucking cheap though. Listen, oh, I mean, I mean, they're gonna try to get you on the Sopranos fucking name of in a course, minute, bro. You know, of oh, you know, this was a Sopranos. <laughs> <laughs> no, motherfucker, I don't have HBO, dude. Yeah, I, but I heard it's still a strip club, is it not? Yeah, what the fuck? What but I heard fuck? it's horrible. The area's not bad, dude. No, no, no. I heard the the strip club has like one star. They like go in, take a photo, and then call it a day. Oh, satin dolls. Yeah. Satin, satin dolls. dolls. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. It's in Lodi. Lodi. Lodi's a great area, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lodi's well, it's great right there, too, because it's got the expressway right there. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, I would love to. I mean, that's, I mean, that's fucking Misfits Town. You know I mean? That's basically where all the fucking people who have money, they go buy a house down in Lodi, and they fucking call it a day. Yeah. I would you know? listen, I, I'm totally, I'm, I don't hate on Jersey. I like Jersey. I mean, it's not like you're fucking going to open up the bar in Newark. I would be like, no, 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 no. what are you doing over no. there, bro? <laughs> you better fucking go down there, dude. Yeah, I'm not looking at Newark. I'm not looking at Jersey City. Uh, no, no, fuck Jersey City. Dude. Yeah, I was no. born there, dude. Yeah. And you know, the thing, the thing with Jersey, you know, it's and honestly, dude, like, it'd be kind of cool going to a city that closes at 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm all right with it. I know if we end up in, in you don't have to be open that fucking late, dude. I mean, to me, it's like, to me, it's, po- it's pointless to fucking be drinking till that time. I mean, I'm, you're obviously not an alcoholic. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny is like, I listen. I think that too. I'm like, oh man, I'm not gonna stay out that late. I mean, but who, when you're drinking, wants, next thing you know, four o'clock comes pretty quickly. Who wants to keep drinking that long, though, man? Really, I don't know, man. I haven't, haven't touched drinking in almost three years. Bro. I know, like, I know, I, mean, I know. Like, drink? Well, a, a lot of people do. Listen, I used to work nights. I used to work until twelve o'clock, and I used to get to a bar at like one thirty. If it closed at two o'clock, that sucked. Yeah. Really? Yeah, you're working all. You're home already night. sleeping or already fucking going home. Uh, don't depends, bro. I, I just think it's fucking crazy. And I don't for know. mostly like nighttime kind of places, sometimes this place doesn't really wake up until after two o'clock. Yeah, this is New York City, dude. I mean, no, but sometimes people don't come out till eleven. I get you it. You know what I mean? I get it. But it, it's listen. It, you know, I I, when I I grew up in Mass. You know what I mean? Like, um, was, oh, man. oh my God, you with your satanic shit. Shut up. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Who cares? Cross Wisconsin closes at two too. There you go. Yeah, go. most a lot of places close at two. L.A. closes at two. Boston closes at two. Um, oh, this guy said it's not about you. It's just the symbolism. Oh, jeez. I, I, thanks, man. Who cares? Yeah, I don't care about the symbolism. Oh, here we go. Mr. Scott said uh, they need a metal bar up in uh, Wisconsin if you like the cold. Oh yeah, no. I say I don't like the cold. That's the thing too. Oh my god! Okay, can we shut this guy up? Uh, <laughs> and he's, he's funny. His name is Kick his Rocks. Name is Kick Rocks. <laughs> Kick Rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking practice what you preach. It should be suck dicks. <laughs> um, Pick your own fucking platform to make your statement. Yeah, no. Dude, really, talk to somebody who gives a shit, man. Um, whatever, dude. Now, dude, Wisconsin's too cold. You know, it's You know, I looked. also looked up, like, what's the cities with the most metal bands? You know, what's one of them? Cleveland, Ohio. 
Man, you don't want to go there. That's fucking I, I spent garbage, the garbage town. It's garbage, bro. I spent I spent the night in Cleveland. You know what? Maybe it's got a but I stayed in Cleveland once one night. And a really nice hotel that was really cheap. So I was like, Cle- you want it, you want it, you want a closer Cleveland? Go to Newark, New yeah, Jersey. Yeah, 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 That's yeah. a closer Cleveland, yeah. bro. I didn't realize Cleveland. I mean, Cleveland sounds nice, does it not? I don't know Cleveland. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, you watch a Drew Carey show, you're like, holy fuck, man, Cleveland rules. And when you get there, you're like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. <joint?" laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, uh, you know, listen, New York's no better. You know what I mean? But it's I'm better than like, Cleveland. Yeah, I guess. Fuck that, dude. Yeah, it was Cleveland was rough, bro. Uh, but that was a pretty metal city. But I don't want to move to fucking Cleveland either. I mean, you, you got know, Chicago too. Is metal fucking. Yeah, but Chicago's giant. cold, dude. Nah. Cold. Chicago gets fucking cold. I bet you Chicago's got a couple metal spots. There's a club exit, I think, in, in Chicago. Uh, but are they any, they have to, exactly. I don't know if they're any damn good. But they do have the most metal. I mean, yeah, I get it, man. Look, Texas, Vegas, maybe Arizona, Florida, warm joints. I get yeah. it. Yeah, you know Texas. I'll take some Texas, you know. Yeah, have you ever looked down in fucking down a? So I've, I've, I've we've, I've Lone actually, Star State. We have, you know, I looked in Dallas, San Antonio, um, Austin. There's already a couple metal bars. Yeah, we'll see. Well, Dallas, you got right there. You got the fucking, uh, you got the big airport right there. Fucking, uh, was it uh, uh, the George Bush Dallas, Airport, Dallas Fort Worth area yeah. yeah we've i've looked and i'm listening and i'm keeping an open mind something will happen someday i'm just getting old florida's gonna happen that's exactly ronnie i yeah. mean but it feels like florida's just cock teasing you bro every time something pops off they're like don't be negative bro don't be negative listen i'm being negative because i've been trying to be positive for the past three years since we've been really looking for a spot and uh um basic media mindsets you know, would you christ is this all the same fucking person? Yeah, probably. So. Doesn't Different matter. Name. Doesn't okay. matter. Just you, ignore him. You literally have no time. Yeah. <laughs> you have no life. Um, <laughs> no, man. Like like I said, a lot of positive things have been fucking happening this year. Yeah, no, it's been good. A lot man. of things. And if it doesn't, I don't. I'm just gonna stay positive, bro. PMA. Man. PMA. You know oh, what I'm saying? Jesus. Positive mental attitude. I no? guess, man. It? I guess. Yeah, no, listen, I'm just trying to stay positive. I listen, where if 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 I'm gonna give Florida I, I listen, I still keep I feel like if something's meant to be and something else pops up, it'll happen. You know no. what I mean? So we're still trying with Florida. If it doesn't happen and something pops up somewhere else, then I'll look into it. I also got another project that I'm gonna be working on um that I don't want to give away yet. I mean, to me, uh, I would say the only place I would I would never drop you bag in is Vegas because that's I mean that's that's. Eh. You know what's funny is a lot of people say to me that we would kill it in Vegas. Um, well, I don't CBGB's know. CBGB's didn't fucking rack a fucking CBGB's didn't do shit in Vegas. CBGB's never actually opened in Vegas. Didn't open. It didn't actually open. You moved half that they, shit. Or you they packed it up and apparently they were, but it, it never came to fruition out there. Really. Um, uh, what's it called though? Did open up in Vegas? Uh, not Red Rock. What's the other? Um, Hogs and Heifers. Okay. They used to be that famous biker bar downtown uh, Manhattan. Vegas has underground satanic rituals. <laughs> 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 of course. Satan. Whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Exactly. <laughs> Satan, uh, Satan stays quiet and uh, underground. <laughs> Satan stays underground in Vegas. Satan is so obvious. Uh, you know, if, Frank, if Satan's hanging out anywhere, he's hanging out up top on the strip trying to get hookers. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, he ain't hanging out underground in Vegas. He's chilling with little Nicky exactly. and his grandkids. If you believe in Satan, Satan is the all over Vegas, bro. <laughs> I think Vegas will be a good third spot, not yeah. the second spot. Yeah, get back to your dungeon. What about Arizona? Uh, it's too fucking hot, dude. Yeah. I mean, Vegas is going to be hot, but... Uh, don't go to Oregon. No, I don't, Oregon's too far. Oregon's fucking... It's, it's drug central. Oregon's, Oregon's too far. What about Seattle? You ever thought about Seattle? Too cold. Too cold? Too cold, too rainy, too depressing. I already got depression problems. You think I want to live in a place that rains all the time? I guess. No way. And Oregon, Oregon same way, you know, and California is the same as New York. You're not going to make money in California because you got taxes and yeah. rent are so high. You know what I mean? So. Oh, yeah, you're just paying for the name of the state. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah, California is too much. Um, but, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm trying to keep an open mind. I'm hoping Florida happens. But, I mean, uh, to me, the main thing is it's Florida, Texas, or New Jersey. Florida, Florida, Texas, ten, or New Florida Jersey. Texas, Tennessee, or Louisiana. What about you? Ever thought about Connecticut? No, no. no. Go no. back, go no. back. Stomping grounds. I don't want to go north. I don't want to go north. No. Nope. South. I'm working my way south. 
Okay. You know? And then if when I'm an old man, I'll retire. And what about fucking uh, South Carolina, North Carolina? You know, I've t- I talked. I don't know enough Atlanta. about them. I don't know enough about them. No, I don't know actually, what the scenes. I don't know what the scenes like out there. A place just opened. I'm not sure if it's South Carolina or Virginia called Hell's. Uh, the owners came here like a year or two ago. It's not that new. I think Jeremy was there. Yeah. Yeah, I think Jeremy. No, they was just there. opened like last year. Yeah. No, I know. Last summer, I think Jeremy went there, oh. and he sent me. Uh, pictures he sent me the picture of the menu i think i mean this guar bar in virginia guar bar yeah guar owns a bar in virginia what the fuck i could just picture you going there and clean coming out fucking dirty <laughs> no apparently they got good food it's like bar food and it's small apparently it's not very big i still gotta go there you know maybe i'll make a little fucking trip there over the summer guar bar yeah do a little hmm. reconnaissance yeah i'd just like to check out the guar. i've been i've been to virginia and i've never been able to stop in guar bar and I would like yeah to this dude's going off man florida and texas are agendas oh. they'll be hit by weather You're giving him more attention than he deserves no, i don't mind it's making True. me laugh what's he saying oh uh, this is fucking hilarious obviously somebody that's never florida and texas agenda they hit by weather manipulation the weather man <laughs> the weather manipulation <laughs> man Man, is this I'm Sire not, Records? I know you're not saying anything <laughs> bad against me, Sire. You're saying about the, you know, there we have, yeah, we have weather machines, is what you're saying. Is that what you're saying, Austin, Texas? Austin, Texas could be cool. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I, I would like to go down and check out, do a little Texas, like two weeks in Texas. Uh, already. I mean, there's a lot of fucking nut jobs in those subways, dude. I don't know, man. I, no I don't even. I wouldn't even subways. go to the subways in New York. Did no you see more. the guy who had the fucking gun on the subway and then got shot with the go- his own gun in the subway? Got shot with his own. What the, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck you do that? Well, I mean, the guy deserved it. Apparently, so the, I don't know. There was a fight or something. It was. It was a video uh, a couple a couple months ago. Oh, were you talking about when he fucking was fucking with those two Spanish fucking people, or whatever? And the, the guy pulled the th- gun out on him. Yeah, oh, yeah he, got he, got, the gun. he got it from him and shot him. Yeah, and shot yeah. him. Okay, it's like. Yeah. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, I don't know, man. I, I I left the subway system alone a long time yeah, ago. Me too. Man. It was fucking yeah. iffy when you had to go in there back in the day. You know what's funny, man? I told him my first, my subway, <laughs> my subway, my first. I, listen, I don't mind taking the subway once in a while. You know what I mean? Like, uh, oh, Scribbles, Scribbles is back. What up, Scribbles? Um, Louisiana. I Listen, I'm open to Louisiana. I love fucking down New Orleans. Down for some crawfish. I love New Orleans. Give me some crawfish. Yeah, yeah we got to fucking get down there this summer. Yeah, we I love New Orleans. I haven't been there in years. I've been there five times. I used to go every year. I was, try- no, I was no. trying to go. I was trying to go next week. I had. Some, I was trying to line it up with some friends, but I couldn't make it happen. Um, I love New I love Louisiana. I love the vibe down there. It's great. I think I'd be. Food I'm, sounds good. The oh, food's yeah. good, man. The food's good. You got to know where to go. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of touristy places that try to suck you in with their... Uh, as long as the food's good, man. I don't care what the fuck. I mean, no, but they they try and like. There's some places that oh, this place looks like it'll have some killer gumbo, and it's like mediocre gumbo. I don't even know what the fuck gumbo is, bro, like, but I'll eat it. Compared to like real gumbo, you go out to the fucking swamps. What the hell's gumbo? Uh, gumbo is like it's like a stew. Okay, it's like a stew over rice, it. basically. I'm it's delicious, it's delicious. You know, yeah, spices, fucking, sausages. Fucking easy. Yeah, the fried oyster po' boy is fucking delicious. I don't a even po- know what that is, but I'll, I'll eat it. A po' boy is basically a sa- po' boy is basically a sandwich. You ever had a gator po' boy? I haven't had a gator po' boy, but I've had fried gator. Uh, I've had gator jerky. That's about it. So uh, the the light meat and the dark meat is different. So the dark meat is like beef. The white meat is like chicken. But so the, the, most of it's yeah. white meat because the Matrix only thing, the only right thing there, you man. can really eat is the tail. I've I've had all kinds of gator man. I don't know. I, all I've, kinds. I've had I've mostly had gator bites. They have fried gator bites at like some restaurants. Never had that. Good. Oh shit. Yeah, man. I fucking love me some Nola. Nola. Oh, All right. I'll eat anything right about now. I think we're gonna start right <laughs> wrapping up. Scribbles are late. What time? We're gonna, we're gonna start wrapping things up. I'm gonna start wrapping things up. Scribble, chicka, chicka, chicka. So. Yeah. All right, Mr. Satan. I appreciate you listening anyway. Thank you for thank you for chiming in, bro. Yeah, thank you for informing us about Satan. It's all about the visuals, baby. Yeah. It's all yeah, about yeah. the visuals. Yeah. Thirteen's my favorite number. Oh, yeah? I was born on the 13th. Oh, yeah? 13th of what? Of, uh, of March. Oh, so yeah. I don't fucking care, dude. I love 13, man. Nice. You know? Melody was born on December 13th. Ooh, my mom was born on December 14th. Oh, yeah? I love December people. We get along. <laughs> I don't know about me and Melody, but me and my mom get along. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, me and Melody get along sometimes. Scribble's eating barbecue bullfrog. Oh, barbecue bullfrog. What's the craziest thing you've eaten besides... I mean, who the fuck's eating bullfrog? Cow balls. Cow balls? Yeah. What do they call that? I had it in a Brazilian restaurant. My friends didn't tell me what it was. 
what do they call it? I don't they, know what the fuck it down was. Down south, they call it something. It tasted good, though. I'm not putting nobody's <laughs> fucking balls in my mouth. You don't know, though. It was, like, it was yeah. just a plate of meat, bro. And it was like, I didn't know it. They were like, yeah, yeah. just try this, try it. I was like, cool. You water, say, water, water. what's that? What's the craziest thing you've eaten besides alligator? Um, crickets. All right. And horse. Chocolate covered crickets? Horse. And dog. Oh, yeah? You've had dog? Yeah. Where? I have. I had a lot of Filipino friends, right? oh. and, they would, and they would bring it. So all that shit is normal out there. I know. They yeah. would bring stuff back, and they, they would be like, oh, that and iguana. I mean, iguana. I, I can eat a lizard, bro. Lizards are fucking brainless. Yeah. But they would just be like, oh, try this. And then, like, you ask what it was afterwards, and it's like, oh. Okay. That's okay. fucked up, man. Yeah. I don't care. I don't really like dogs. Oh, <laughs> man, <laughs> Dude. Up. Yeah, I don't want to eat a dog. Oh, who knows? I'd probably eat a cat because all the Chinese restaurants, dude. I don't, don't want to eat a dog. Me. I don't want to eat a cat. I've had guinea pigs. You probably pig. had cat, dude, in the Chinese restaurants, yeah, man. I've had guinea pigs. Pig. You've had cooey? Yes. Yeah, Peru- oh, Peruvian. Dad, my, my mother-in-law asked me, they were like, you want to try cooey? I was like, get that shit the fuck out of here. No way, dude, am I eating a fucking hamster. Yeah. Filipinos eat a lot of crazy shit, though. Yeah, they do. They'll it's, eat whatever. Well, they don't eat over there, right? They eat wombats and shit <laughs> and stuff. I forget, <laughs> I forget the one thing that I never want to eat. Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's basically like a half-born bird uh, and a fucking egg. It's it's like the highest delicacy in the Philippines. I oh yes, I've called. seen that. I've seen that on fucking uh, like strange eats. It's like that's one thing. Scribble like, said salami made, made, made of horse. horse. I don't think so. The original tartar was horse. Oh, so Mr. Scott eats cigarettes for money. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's, there's a cult guy. Uh, we, we love you, right, sire. What, what did you eat, sire? What did he eat? Anything crazy, sire? Yeah, anything crazy? What did you eat? Other than your words. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, have you ever have you ever had fucking, uh, what's that fucking fish egg shit called? Uh, caviar? Caviar? Yeah. You've had caviar? I've had caviar, yeah, 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 yeah. I've had, I mean, that's um, nothing. I've had escargot. I haven't had frog. I've had, yeah. frog, I've had legs. frog legs. I've yeah. had frog legs. Tastes like that. chicken. Cow tongue was pretty brutal. I've had, uh, I've had that. Too. It was actually delicious. Though, like I didn't even know what it was, and it was this pink, beautiful meat. All it was a Russian restaurant. It was all uh, Ukrainian restaurant. Actually, it was all uh, covered in like sour cream and mayonnaise. And I was like, man, this is delicious. Is it raw? Or? No, no, no. You can't eat a raw tongue. It's fucking I don't muscle. Know, man. They got to cook the shit for like forty-two hours, and they freaking cook it and uh, ate mountain lion. Mountain lion. Fucking mountain, mountain lion. It was, it was it was bump, yeah. It's like basically eating a big cat. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah. Scribble, you're crazy. Listen, before there were fucking men. He was still alive when he ate it. <laughs> Scribble's hardcore, man. He ate yeah. a fucking mountain lion. Took a, a bite out of a mountain lion. He's in California. <laughs> we we're, were eating everything before there was McDonald's and all this other shit. I guess. Yeah, we had to. I guess, man. Hey, McDonald's making a new five dollar menu. Yeah, I'd eat <laughs> sewer rat. Out there. I'd eat sewer rat if it tastes like pumpkin pie. Got one right outside down the fucking little yeah. down the road over here. <laughs> Dude, there was a oh my god, there was a couple baby ones outside the other day by the garbage. There was a whole bunch of little baby ones what? just nice sitting there. I told Deuce to step on him. I didn't oh, want to step man. on him. Oh, yeah. man. They were probably waiting for you to fucking, oh, where's that meat he was cooking? Yeah. I drowned him. Uh, the system. Uh, <laughs> just answer the question. What's what's the strangest thing you've ever yeah. seen, Sire? R- R- I want to hear this answer yeah, before. Child family. Come on, dude, all these stuff. And yeah, what did you eat, bro? Chinese social credit. Oh, I think he had and, Chinese food. He ate cat. Totally had Chinese food. Answer totally. the question. I love me some Chinese food. I miss me All some right. Chinese food. <laughs> we're going to wrap it up. So we're not here next week, but we're here the following week. Yes, yes? sir. Yes, All sir. Right. All right. Next All week right. I have to do the I have to do the, the family thing. You know, All right. I help sisters, you know, mothers who can't. We're drink. glad you're staying healthy. You're looking healthy. Yeah, Your man. skin looks nice. Yeah, lost 40 pounds. 40 yeah. pounds, man. Like, yeah. like, like magic, man. Like. Magic. Did you see? Oh, did you see the shirt I got him? No. Yes. Oh. I got him a sh- I got him a Nelson. Nelson, t-shirt. dude, I'm rocking that. I'm rocking on the podcast tonight, bro. When I go home, man. <laughs> yeah, man. And, and, and right when I saw the thing, bro, I just the video clicked in. It was a live video. One brother was playing the acoustic guitar. The other yeah. brother was rocking the. God. You know what, man? The other day, uh, actually, when Jesse was over, when um, we were rocking out to, uh, I had old school Headbangers Ball videos on. Uh, Cyrus he doesn't eat weird stuff. Oh. Man, what honestly. Why don't eat weird stuff, bro? Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Kim Kardashian <laughs> did eat her placenta, I heard. Oh, all animals <laughs> eat their placenta. I'm surprised we don't. Yeah, but no, but there are people. I know people, some people Dogs do, do eat their placenta. I mean, it's full of fucking vitamins. It's packed with vitamins. Yeah. You cook up some placenta for me, I'll eat it. 
Yeah. Face put some hot oh sauce on it. Put some Frank's Red Hot on it. Yeah. I mean. Could have just answered a question. Yeah. yeah I mean, you. yeah. I mean. <laughs> well, he just said he doesn't eat weird stuff. So he probably eats McDonald's, yeah, Burger but, King, White Castle. No, just, no you're just trying to but just want the but, attention. Probably but, live in another fucking country. But if, uh, and that's gross. But if, uh, you know, I listen, I'll eat the fucking placenta. If it's gonna, you know, it'll give me a little burst yeah. of energy. I mean, you could just go to GNC and like, get some vitamins. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah, placenta right. vitamins. Yeah, I, no, I go, I go to, I prefer to hang outside the maternity ward and be like, <laughs> anybody uh, want to? Hey, jump? if you come down to six forty four Sacker Street, bro, they got the best cheese sticks in the world. Yeah, mozzar- uh, mozzarella, mozzarella sticks. sticks. I'm sorry, mozzarella sticks. Who hates restaurants, bro? Yeah, thank you, Scribble. It's just avoiding the sounding great, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Who hates restaurants, bro? Like restaurants are fun. Soy feminizes men. It does. <laughs> it does. Oh my gosh. I don't drink milk, bro. You don't drink milk? I take vitamins. Yeah. <laughs> I don't drink soy milk. I drink almond milk. It does feminize, man. Estrogen and... Fo- I, I've been I saying that. that, bro. They're fucking... They're putting Listen, shit in You should in check food. episode 157 where we're talking about estrogen and fucking pre-workout. Yeah. <laughs> check, you might like that. Yeah. Christ. All right. All right. Well, we'll be back. Sire, come back next week on yeah. the 14th. <laughs> yeah, we'll be back on the 14th, bro. <laughs> So we'll talk to you guys later. All right, What's guys, man. Make sure you go out and like and subscribe. Everything Lucky 13 Saloon, Lucky 13 Saloon Podcast. Come down to 644 Sackett Street in Brooklyn, New York. Get yourself some mozzarella sticks. Hang out with Jamal till 2 in the motherfucking morning. 4 in the motherfucking morning. 4 in the motherfucking morning, man. Yeah, he'll be here tonight till 4. You know, and uh, just make sure you, you know, go out and, you know, don't oh, eat cats and dogs, long. man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's coming back, man. You're welcome. All night long. All night Oh, no. Oh, yeah. We're trying, uh, I'm trying, bro. I'm trying. That's the motivation we needed today. Can't get out of New York, man. Yeah. Well, I'm getting out of New York in a little bit because I'm going back to Jersey. Yeah. 15 minutes. You'll be yeah. Done. E-Town Concrete, baby. E-Town Concrete all day. Peace out, guys. Later.